Romeo Lacoste threatens legal action against Keemstar after a drama alert exposes him having inappropriate messages and videos with a 15-year-old girl. Hi, I'm Tommy C, and this is Shot from the Point News. Boy, uh, we have um, one one for the books here. This is really wild. Keemstar, just a couple days ago, uh, rebroke a story about Romeo Lacoste. If you don't know who he is, about a year ago, Keem... Uh, there, Akeem did a drama alert video on him. He's sort of the, uh, Romeo is the tattoo artist for the stars, especially YouTube stars, everybody from Justin Bieber, Jake Paul, Face Banks, Rice Gum, you name it, this this was the guy. And there was some questions of, of him having inappropriate relationships with underage girls. And uh, a big interview uh, we covered on the Shot on the Point podcast. And uh, it didn't go well. <laughs> That's that's, that's putting it mildly. It, Romeo said um, very strange and what I would consider incriminating things. And the result of that was Romeo getting a dead channel and most of the YouTube stars and others moving away from him completely. But that didn't seem to stop Romeo because just the other day, Keemstar, drama alert, did another video where a 15-year-old girl, now 16, exposed Romeo for having inappropriate relationships with her, which premiered, let's see if I can put this lightly. Uh, it, it, he, he apparently uh, sent a video of a wingding uh, to, to this then 15 year old girl. And recently she turned 16 and she exposed him for this inappropriate relationship. I, is it a relationship? I, I, I don't know what that is. I, I don't get it. I, I'm so glad I didn't date in the age of social media. I can't imagine doing that if I did, but I'm just, yeah, it, this is just, this is this is really some, some wild stuff. But our story doesn't end there. Romeo apparently contacted Keemstar's lawyers and threatened to sue him, even though the, the evidence is just overwhelming. Uh, and and it, slander of all things. If you go back to Keemstar's last video on Romeo, uh, there's <laughs> there's a video of an underage girl talking to a guy with his camera pointed towards his winging. It, there's there's no way around it, and there's a lot of tattoos there too. So I'm pretty sure it's. It's Romeo. It's it's one hundred percent. There's no there's no question here. There's no alleged uh, uh, garbage. Keem did a fine job on this. This girl exposed him uh, uh, to the hilt. Uh, but just the just the the balls, <laughs> for lack of a better word, to threaten Keem. Keem, of course, responded to this on Twitter uh, and invited him for another interview. But this is this is actually pretty good. Dear Romeo Lacoste or Lacoste or however you say your name. Um, I just got, my attorney just hit me up and said that he got a cease and desist letter from your attorney saying that, like, we need to remove the drama alert videos about you because it's direct slander. And if we don't remove those videos, that you're going to sue us, okay? Sue me! I'm not removing that. Are you insane, Romeo? Did you really think that you were going to hit your attorney up, he was going to send me this letter, and I was going to delete all this proof and all this stuff about you? Are you insane? Are you insane? Sue me. Sue me. Let's make it a public record, all right? Let's put all these facts out in front of the judge. Honestly, you're insane because now I was going to work on another story. Now I'm going to work on nothing but you, all right? We're going to do Robia Lacrosse content for a goddamn month just for sending me that goddamn letter, you idiot. Are you dumb? What, you have this attorney and you think like you have some type of power? I got an army of attorneys. Are you dumb? Are you really that dumb? It is, I mean, normally I'm, 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 I, I, I usually have a criticism for Keemstar. I have none. This is absolutely outrageous. And if, if, if you didn't know, slander means you, you made something up, that you made something up out of the blue. And one of the videos I'm assuming he wants moved is an interview that Romeo agreed to participate in. And, uh, you know, any more, I mean, all he really is going to do is put a spotlight on what he's done. Yeah, bring all that evidence in. I mean, yeah, you, you might find yourself in a civil civil suit and walk outside the courtroom and get hit with uh, some, a criminal one from the state. 
not or it's the FBI. If we're talking across state, I mean, this is just unbelievable. And if I had to guess, and this is this is the commentary portion of Shopping Point News, he freaked out. He called his lawyer, and his lawyer's like, "Well, we we could send a cease and assist, desist, excuse me. Uh, but I mean, if he doesn't do it, we're gonna have to sue him, and you know, that means he's gonna introduce the evidence, and the yes, evidence is your wingding." Like, dude, one of the things I've noticed about these predator types, and you probably noticed it with, with Onision, is that um, when they, they seem to have a distance from reality, a complete and total distance from reality, it's just that there's no, they're not living on planet Earth, so to speak. It's, they're so far off from what normal people would consider right and wrong. I, I know I'm not explaining it well, but it's just, there's such a detachment and distance. And this is how it manifests itself. It manifests itself in a cease and desist that would only really end up highlighting, in a lawsuit that would end up highlighting um, this kind of clear-cut crime. You can't send pictures of your wig ding to underage girls. Unless you're a politician from New York, Anthony Weiner. <laughs> no monetization of my future, huh? <laughs> oh, well. I was talking about the font. Wingdings!